We're back in City Skylines, we're back in Neo Manica, which is based off Boulder Cove, and we're still doing infrastructure. Mainly around the city center and downtown. And then ready to hopefully set the zones down on Sunday. Yeah, so I could make that actually a truckway as well, depending on how the trucks go. So next thing we need to do is... they're going to come out at, want to come out of that so they're already going there so that is a a one way Go the skyline so we'll make it no parking Um, well, they're making a right hand turn, so we can technically Yep, so that is a two way up And they technically don't need to ever make that turn either and then that just allows them to technically access both ways because we've got the freight way coming down this has got rail this has got metro pardon me hey Daniloff <laughs> well we started late so there's that for starters But we continue on. So this is another intercity area. So this becomes a, a mini center in itself. Now I've also got to work out which way the freight's coming. Freight's most likely to come down here and over. And it's most likely to come through there. If it's coming from this angle, it will come down this row. Uh, no, because it's set by speed limits. Yeah, so there. I might... Actually, I might make that... What we will do here... And then what you do with that, um, I can always reset this again later. So you just basically take, technically take taxis out of it too. So that is done like that. So that becomes a truck, truck only way. And then what we do to improve the connections there. Oh, we know when I'm crazy. Okay, so this one. What you then do. Is. Now this gets a little bit interesting. I, um, no, I will make it a one way. Oh. Yeah. So that does that. And then we do the same. Oh. Do it in reverse. So do that. And come down. So we're just continuing doing our infrastructure at the moment. switch over and this is probably where you do come out the other way okay so this is actually where we actually might need to come back one more so 
so that means in this case let's say the easiest way to do that is come out now why are we well no we did have it okay flip that over because what I will most ah, well we can use move it for starters take that off it's fine flip that over okay now that does not need well it can do it at the same time not so we've got a shoreline yeah I'll figure out that so that's fine now the catch is we've got bus lanes sitting in there which are gonna jank out so let's first of all work these out. Yep, so that is not a right turn. So they come across, they come... Yeah, I'll let them go both ways in this instance. This instance is because it says them going around. So again, this is just working on freight. That's given stacking capacity. I'll do the cargo in a minute because that'll also give a bucket load away. So now we can do these. I will actually have to drop these out as Let's drop these out as bus lanes. We don't need, shouldn't need traffic signals. Now the buses can ignore the arrows too, which is an advantage. So they all go straight ahead. Which is fine. Yep, two around, because they will disperse. And we can take the lights off. Make that a giveaway. So that's that done. So that gives the freight another angle to come up on. Now we'll work out. Don't need freight to run that way. So once the infrastructure is laid out, the rest falls into place quite quickly. And I did last night. Uh, draw a lot of this down on A3. This is a quirk of the game, that, and that's a little bit annoying. So I did draw most of this down on A3 last night. Being a planner and designer in real life, tendency what we do. So the freightway connections are fine. That becomes, I know what that will be. We've got stacking capacity in there. So watch what I build in there. So now we're getting this cross connection. That can hold, because freight. Because what we want to do is don't want them skipping around. So they would go down there normally. Um, we'll see how it goes. I can alter the traffic flow patterns as I need to. Well, let's finish this off. So that's that one. So we're working on the city centre area at the moment, which will be obviously the central point. Oi, hiss a lot. Put a lid on it. Oi. Oh, Connor, you dirt.
So, I also got to remember lots of pedestrian and cycle. So, cycleways will be kicking in as well for this. Okay. <laughs> There's sun. Right, we're going to get a little performance for a few moments, so just hang on to your earphones, everyone. There you go. How's that for cuteness? Whoa. You actually got him to sit still. Yeah, he didn't smile, though. Do you expect him to smile unless there's a cat in front of him? <laughs> no. No. Hurry! Um, tomorrow, could we potentially see my parents? Or the, our oldest who wants to do boarding with Alpha. You know I've got TM tomorrow, right? In the Happy. evening, eh? Afternoon? Yeah, remember, you've also got to do the corner of the garden. I'm under that today. Okay. Sweet. So the difference between these two, this is based on Australia. So the difference with these two, I follow, well, I follow Yumbo, Yumbo follows me, as we like to do cycling. Now, technically, this is a city centre area, so I shouldn't really be needing cars. But then again, I've got these as well. So, and then you've got this, which is so it's a mixture of both. If I really wanted, if the tra if I feel the traffic's going to be really a pain in the butt, I can always jump down to here. But that would be probably more used up there anyway. So, and like in this instance, it would be used up here too. And then cycleways and that continue on. Okay, so that's that connected. Right, we need to work out this. Actually, if I do the railway first, that's going to... Yeah, that's going to be a nice one to connect paths back to. And I'm probably going to have to bridge it as well. Yep, bus lanes are set. Oh, that's ugly. I really don't like that. Nothing much I could have. In fact, depending on how the buses are run, I might actually even take it out. Because that's just not going to work. Depends on how I set the transit network up. Anyway. Railway. So now this ironically enforces street hierarchy rather early. Hopefully that doesn't jank up. I think it's only a metro that it does it too. So don't have to worry too much. Brilliant. They've got stacking capacity and I can add more stacking capacity if I need to. Okay, so we're looking for the interest city. Oh, we're going to be... No. Oh, shoot. Oh, this is going to be fun. That is not connected because that's actually separated. That's interest city. This is interest city. Ooh. So we're running double tracks. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to have to drink that around. Ok, 
Okay, so that's that done. So that's... No. Which one was the interest city? I think interest city's on the inside. Yeah, interest city's on the inside. Okay. So this is gonna get fun. Where is it? There. Because I've also got to factor in if I'm bringing interest city over the other way too. So... Okay, so if we do this now... Okay, so this is the interest city I'm looking at. Ooh, okay, this is going to be fun. I might drop that down quite early. Oh, it has to anyway. So, come... Um, that is not going to work. Okay, let's try this again. Hey, JFC, how are you? Hope all is well this morning. Well, morning for me. Whatever time it may be your way. We're doing... Freight lines at the moment. Now, where is it? There, so. So that's lined up. 10.30 here. Yes, yeah, so evening. <laughs> well, how are you, JC? Anyway, I hope all is well with you. Yeah, Capes is online too. He's doing his Friday day streams as well. So both of us do. Um, Fridays are set aside for our day streams. Just on the side note, the big... Uh, although Jedi and Kaz are online at the moment, most of the other big streamers are not. So it's... um. Allows the smaller streamers to come on. If the Americans do come on, they'll be online uh, later today. Okay, so that's the interest city cargo done. So what I will do now... Do... Uh, no, I might not run at that... Sh uh, no, you need the stacking capacity. Once you get caught very short very quickly. Pardon me. Okay, so what we need to do is just extend him over. Okay, well that's a bit. A bit too steep. I'll see if I can fix that up. Okay, so that's the interest city done. Now, oh, railway. Yep. Oh yeah. So ever's on. Yeah. So ever's on a bit. Of, he um, he doesn't usually stream at this time, but ever since he got um, went jobless. Yeah, he's shifted over, but it's, I don't think he's doing cities at the moment. That's okay. Yeah, so Fridays is, um, yep, 
yeah, Fridays I set aside for the day stream. So normally I stream 7 p.m. Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, but Friday I set aside for the day. And the reason why that was is the North Americans who wanted to watch like Moist Ghost and so ever and Jedi and that just couldn't. So they can if they and if they miss they can watch the VODs quite early on. Right, so that's the intercity. So I need to do the intercity line. Yeah, he's an outlast today. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why I do Friday day streams is so the North Americans could um log on. And they've bounced in here. Kaz just shows up at any odd hours anyway, so I've caught him in here when I was straight when I've been streaming and I know it's like 3 a.m. in the morning over there. It's just like Okay, so what are we doing? Intercity. Okay, so this also needs to That's going to need a bus about, so... Oh, yeah, I know how that's going to be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we need to do this again. So down we go. Six meters. Eight. This is not too bad in that... Where's the intercity line? There. Okay, so we'll run it. Um... Now, I've got to be careful, because this is going to have to... Yeah. Uh... This needs to back loop. So, what we will do is put that one there. And then what we can do is extend... him around and I'll leave him there for the moment and then what we'll do is hello son how are you have you got wet wipes again hi hi no you're not taking off the remote no you're not no you're not taking off the remote again hmm. do, do, do. <laughs> oh it's good to see you here yeah, so I stream, um, what is it? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. Monday or Tuesday, I might do special streams. And as you can see, the face cam's on too. Uh, Dr. Y managed to turn that on the Wednesday stream. So we're going to be setting up for a 12-hour challenge sometime in November. Yeah, I saw he did that with me. Yeah, he's changed over. He's doing more cities. Maybe um, Shipy Pants does more cities now, if I'm right. Now the good news is, is if I need to extend another one line there, I can do so if that gets awfully congested. So that is available to me. And what I might do is, where's that rail line? There. Nice. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'll set up the community challenge for the 12 hour stream probably late November. Oh no, I've got contests. Toastmasters contests in late November. That sucks up most of my time. Um, what are we at? Yeah, I might do it in four weeks time. So mid November. Because the beginning of the November is Mrs. Palpatine's birthday. So that's an automatic no. And late November, I've got to do Toastmasters comps again. Okay, so that's there, that's there. So what we're going to do is focus on the rail for the moment, because I need to set up the intercity rail and the intercity cargo rail. 
Um, for rail movements, for passengers across the city will be done with metro this time round. And we are using trolley buses this time too, so I don't use all the transport modes. I usually pick and mix. But the two, two core ones that are always used is buses and metro. And of course, heavy rail for freight. So those three are always done, but then I'll toss up between trolley buses, trams, and monorail. And if it's a water map, ferries are automatic. So we're going to have ferries done in this one too. Okay, so that's the intercity cargo. If we work this out now, this will give us an idea. So for those wondering, a lot when I start a new map, a lot of, t about the first week, if not two weeks, is spent doing infrastructure. So you won't, I'm aiming to get zoning down um, this Sunday, on the Sunday stream, because I've got the new, I've got the new mixed zones available, which is a mod, and I really want to give that a whirl, but it just depends on how much, how quickly I get the infrastructure put in place. So at the moment we're working on the city centre and like the main island. And although we've got power and water ready. Oh, I need to set up the toll gates for this side too. So here's another. So this is going to be another nice area. So you're going to get a nice twin cities approach. Evening, Paul. Oh, morning, I should say. Morning. It's morning, my say. Uh, how are you? I hope all is well. So we're just setting this up, so that, uh, so that's a shipping line, so we're back in the same boat as last time. Okay, this is a gorgeous map, I absolutely love it. So I think he's set that up mostly already, so easiest way to make sure you're not going to foul your f lines is set up a ferry line. And if your ferries can get through, then in theory, so can your cargo ships. Okay, so there it is there. So we'll, so if that's the cargo line, we will set the ferry line. To there. And of course, Let's just do this quickly. Set that there. Because what we did last time is we built this huge this, this piece here. So there's two lines, one for intercity, one for intracity. Uh, where's the port? Oh, all the way over there. So that's a heck of a cargo run. So I could set up another port over there. So it's a beautiful map, but it's quite intense working out where you want yeah so there'll be no shipping down here working out where you want everything so let's push on so we need um let's bring this over right so this is automatically bridged Okay, so now we've got to work out our bridges. Okay, so there's the ferry line. So, so 10, 12 meters should be enough to get it across. So now I think it's, is that just complaining on spacing? Yep, so that's just complaining on spacing. Okay. So I'm going to have to alter that around a bit. That's okay, I don't mind doing that. Now. Okay, 
might actually have that set too low. Okay, I could be doing this again. Let's just see what's going on. Oh, not help that I'm curving the bridges. So. So 12 meters, actually, 10 meters might be too low. But we know we can't go lower than it. Okay, so let's drop down. So let's bring this up. Okay, let's just get this. Okay, so come up slowly. Sorry, this is just going to take a little bit of bit of concentration as we. Okay, now we should be able to curve the bridge. I was going to do Seahorse map, but I discounted that out after Yumble encountered major errors with it. So I am now on Boulder Cove. I'll pull the map up in a minute. If you, Just one moment while I just do this. And let me just drop the volume in my headphones. Yeah, so this is the Boulder Cove map by the same creator. Okay, so down we go. I think that's going to stabilize out. Yep. So we should now able to run this. Where? Oh, they're all the way over there. Oh, that's going to be fun to work around. Ha ha. Okay. This is going to be fun to do. So, where is the intracity and where is the inner city line? Oh, sorry, intercity line. I can see, Chad, I'll be with you in just a moment because I think we're going to have a bit of fun. So, what am I doing? The intercity line. So, that is on the inside. No on the outside so that's there oh, okay I can see how this is gonna work so this is gonna basically come round and then the interest city will come around the other side all right so that's a heck of an elevation drop so what we will do Start doing these drops now. And we'll run it parallel too. So we'll come off, where we'll do is we'll come off this line and I'll bring the other line around. Yeah. Yeah, Boulder Cove is the name again. It's a beautiful map, so zoom out. Oh, let me just place this railway down. So this is going to be a little bit of a... Where are we at? 14 meters. Heck, that's a steep drop. It's alright, it's not the steepest drop in the world. A mic prop anarchy off. Good. This is when the trees start getting in the road. Okay. 
Actually, that can now switch over too. Okay, so where is that there? Okay, so let's... Let's do this the other way around. And I've... No, that's the... Uh... That's a good point. Okay, so he's there. And there's no way he's going to stack himself that high that quickly. I can tell you that. So I might run him under as a tunnel. Alright. So drop that to two meters. And then the last one there with that connection. So drop that out. And we'll bring him. Yeah, so this is a... Okay, so that is connected. Um, I might... Just gonna have a ponder. I could do a spiral. There is another way around, so what we will do... Um, let's go back into tunnel mode is... <laughs> that was not funny. Oh, because that was enabled. That was a derp. Okay, so that's there. Um... You could be right in the fact the spiral might... Why is... Is that elevated? That should not be elevated at all. Okay, so drop that down to two. Because again, I can run another parallel line. Hey, <laughs> all good though, Paul. Thanks for your... A spiral would have been the case if the cargo line was further to the shore. And, to be honest, doesn't mean that I won't be doing one elsewhere in this map, because this map is full of islands, so it fluxes around a lot. So it's the intracity connection. So we'll go around. Six meters. Eight meters. Allows me to do it anyway, it's just a very slow turnout. Which is not bad, you're in a tunnel anyway, so. It's actually not bad at all. So we've got the uh, intercity line done. So if I was to drop down. No trains yet, this because it's um. Actually, before I do that, let's take a save. Otherwise, we get caught out. So, I'm just going to grab an apple. I'll be right back while this takes a save because first save is always the slower, so then every save after that speeds up.
Oh, that was faster than anticipated. Okay, so if we go on the intercity rail. Tell you what, the map creator has done a beautiful job of this map. And I like the LUT. The, I haven't changed the LUT for this. So the LUT is the temperate. Oop, got a... S <laughs> I'll balance that out in a minute. And you go across the big bridge. There's the power plant. Oops. Come down. I'll demolish that line in a minute. So the intercity line. The city will be over there. And you come back across, across the massive causeway, across another bridge. Across another bridge. Of course, I've still got to use Move It Mod a bit to smooth things out. Around you go. Back up you go. And down the other side. So with this map, he only the map creator only sent the rail connections there and there. So all of this I've had to create. Technically, I can actually leave. I can leave that connection in because that can serve as another bridge if the passenger rail starts screwing up the freight. Anyway, back to this. Sorry, major distractions. And I'm going to do another one. It's going to say, what is he doing now? I can tell you what I'm doing now. It's called... Toll booth. If I connect it to uh, one, then I can work the other one out. I wish you can't, ironically, because I don't like it when the ma I believe they've used the parallel um, mod parallel, which is a bit of a pain in the butt. Because it makes it extremely annoying to. Um, do the highways. So now I can turn that around. knew that was going to happen. Okay. Just give me a moment. Let me just reconnect this.
Yeah, this has been done with the parallel. This has been done with the parallel mod tool, which is, um, it gets a little bit annoying. I can understand why you do it. It's, okay, there's going to be no interchanges in this area anyway, so I'm not overtly worried. Because there's a big one south of them. See, this is the problem you get. Okay, so that's just going to be a straight out. Straight out until I change that around a bit. Okay, so that's got that done. So there's a toll lane at each end. Now the reason why that is, the way this map is designed, any intercity traffic should be going around. Technically, it should be using this, going right around the bay. And if it really wanted to, it could use this in, in um, this link to cut across and come across past the nuclear power plant and go out that way. What I don't want is intercity traffic screaming down the highway, screaming through this interchange and back out the other end because it then blocks any um, intracity traffic trying to get in and out of the city center. So the tolling in real life would discourage it. In City Skyline's um, version, it just means more money for the, uh, for the budget. Uh, Imperial Jedi with his Imperial Destructions, what is that now, 2000? So that is done. Let's get the Freightway set up. So this is a double. So I'm going to bring one in here. So that will come across here. So ramp there, ramp there. And the idea is any freight or other city traffic would use this to access this part of the island leaving this part for here and I might drop another interchange just this way only not to access there so they're not bunging up local roads okay so that's the inter that's the city centre cargo terminal the ports all the way down the other end oh I've got floody floody that will sort itself out once the simulator is released. Okay. Okay, so that's, let's do this. Uh, road. Let's do the freight way. So up we go 10 meters. I'm just going to make sure I don't get caught up by the bridge. So we'll come back one. Where is it? There. Oops. Try that again. Am I going to need to use prop anarchy? And this is the other problem with parallel tool. Is it becomes a bit of a mission to... To that. Anarchy is off, isn't it? Yep. Okay, I'm going to have to run this backwards. Okay, so let's turn this around. The good news is, is that it's already given me four meters. So, easy to raise it to the ten I need. Run them across. Ah, this is why I don't like them using the tool. It is a serious pain. Okay, that's fine. If you think I'm doing this in the opposite direction, yeah, I am. And there's a reason for it. So, up we go again. So that's that done. Now we turn this around. So we're doing the freight way. Oh, you've got to be... 
Sodder. Fine. I'll use Anarchy. That's because we connected another node down, so that's an easy one to fix. Pillar. Highway bridge. Highway ramp. So we put Anarchy back on. Oh, is procedural on? Oh, hey! Nope. So we're using prop anarchy and procedural objects to do what the game wouldn't do for me. Down we go. Okay, one. Oop. It's a bit out of a line. Hang on, I can see chat moving, just one moment. Whenever I'm using procedural objects, full attention will be to whatever I'm doing with PO, and then I'll flip back to the screen. So, there we go. Okay, you're going off. All good, Paul, enjoy the... Take care, and... Yeah, I actually, next map that I ever get to, I'll do a winter one. I haven't done a winter one ever since Snowfall came out. Oops. <laughs> Enjoy the lurk and take care. Hey, what is one? Oh shoot! Guess what I forgot to do? Prop anarchy. Oops. Okay, so that's the freightway dumb. I will probably alter these street configurations later too. Pain in the backside. That's not going to be. Okay. So, done that one. Okay. I know how this is going to work. So, let's go back to. That one. So that's that dumb. And that gives straight access to the motorway. And then what we do is bring him over. Round about him. Is there a straight out note? Yep. Brilliant. So we will run that as a grass. Now. Having a decision here. If it is, it'd be southbound facing ramps.
Yeah, so that's okay. I don't need to worry about that. So up we go. 10 meters. switch over actually I might make that a little bit easier on the morning Brody how are you today hope all is well with you and welcome to city skylines so this is a roundabout so we're working on Boulder Cove at the moment which is a brand new map I pulled down in the weekend No, we'll run that as a three lane. Technically, I want that there. One moment. So, run him there. So, one moment. Just doing a roundabout, and I'll be right with you. That's better. So... Um, an 80 meter will be a good one for this. Brilliant! I am well this, this very fine Friday morning. I'll just take a look outside. Yep. I'll go in after the stream. I'll go and let the hens out later. They can go and have a run after yesterday's weather performance. Okay, where's the... Oh, okay. Oh. Nudes, nudes, nudes. Nudes are fun. So, I'll... Let's just, so this is, actually, let me come back out. So this is Boulder Cove. So custom map from the Steam Workshop. Lots of islands plus the mainland. Lots of bays in that. Makes it very uh, rich for map building, uh, city building, depending on how you want to do it. So this is a modded game. So mods are enabled. For this. I'll run through the mod collection when the simulator is due to start. And, and yeah, run through the mods that I use for this game. Is that how are the node set for this one? So at the moment we're in the, because I only started this map on Wednesday. We're in the middle of doing the infrastructure builds at the moment. So whenever I start a new map, it could take anywhere between a week to two weeks to set the infrastructure up and then um, zoning after that. But I'm hoping to get some basic zoning down in the city center, hopefully on Sunday when I do the Sunday stream. So what is that, a two-laner? I am going to use these ones for this, and I'm just going to remind myself to redo the speed limits. Um, are we setting anything in there? That's something else I've got to weigh off. If so, that will be done. Oh, yeah, no, that'll be done that way and that way. Just a perennial note, lurkers are welcome in the stream. We are a pro-lurking community, so if you wish to lurk, you are more than welcome to lurk. Okay, 
So what I'm doing is connecting up the freight way, the cargo, to the roading system so the freight trucks have ways of getting, delivering cargo into the commercial zones. Especially if we drop industry in areas like here, here, and possibly even here. It's a nice lovely interchange in there. Then the cargo has ways of moving it about. And one thing I've got to watch that I always get caught as I usually only do one way in, one way out for the city centre. And it's like, I'm wondering why all the traffic's in back there. So I've just got to remember not to fall into that trap again. Which is ironic. Because I'm actually a planner in real life and by profession. And it's like, I should know better. But it happens. Okay, so that's got the him connected up. Um, drop him to a two. Again. If I was really inclined, I could make that in an industrial road. In fact, because it is industry, we will make it industry. Oh, okay, it's going to... Do that is it so that case why don't i make it a bridge now what we will do quickly is just let me just do the famous lane mathematics it's fine it's not that's fine that's fine that's fine that's fine that's not That's not, that's definitely not. Okay, so that's that, 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 and that. So, run we go. One. Yeep. They shouldn't be using that in that fashion, so I shouldn't need to worry about that. So that's that. Dippy game. And that is definitely a one around. Then, whoops, set the giveaways up. Yep. Yes. Yep. Done. Okay, so the cargo terminal is now set up with connections to this part of the island and connections to this part of the island. And if we've got intercity city freight moving, um,. They've got other access points as well. So. So I've got that roundabout spare. So that's the cargo setup. If I need to put in southbound facing ramps, I've got the availability of doing that. So it's, I'll show you what it looks like. So go back over. So that's what we're looking at so far. power station okay so that's that all done interesting it's only used four lane highways for this not that i've ever needed the full utilization of six lane highways but interesting okay so back over to here back over to the city center okay so that's in play and we've got that in place so if i do the trolley bus first bring the trolley bus down here don't want anything anywhere near that cruise ship terminal and there's a very very good reason for that okay let's go set this up set this up why don't i just do this quickly first So that's that done. OK, 
cute. Doesn't need to be perfectly centered at the moment because I'll alter the roads either side of that. So if I drop these in now, that means I know where the core of the core of the city is going. Um, do I have those? Okay, so now I'm looking at no, I believe it's so I'm just gonna just go hunting for something. Here they are. Um, it's two of those. So it's the, uh, just make sure there's only one of them. Yep, and then you got the test. So one. Oh crap. Okay, hang on. I need to take that off its alternative name. So, because it's, so it's the Dorvac building. Okay, so it's demolish this. So what's, so it's the Dovac building too. So DVOR, DVOR, um, it could also be a case of copy paste. Okay, so the building, so it's picking up the fact the building already exists. Um, I didn't make it as a recode, did I? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Office. No, but I can make it a recode. The other one I can simply do is... simply clone it. Wonders of move it mod by cuboid. So that's dropped. That's got that down. Which now gives me an idea of um How to frame the downtown. Perfect place for a ferry terminal too. So. I can now. In fact I am going to do this. This is going to be a little bit different. So no two. Well. In the case of no, no crap Sherlock. No two cities are ever built the same. So I am wondering to transit weigh this off. So let's go one back. Yeah, leave that. So we go. Okay, so they sit on the outside. That's good to know. And then just make sure I've got the pedestrian crossings close by. I'll go see if the crossing mode's working again. Because the other one is just go straight. Um, use that and just make it a pedestrian way only. So the other way to do it is just go. Do that and just make it a straight out pedestrian way. Yeah, I will actually. So that becomes that. And this one becomes the main road. So in this case, 
small heavy road. Because I don't want anything huge going down it. Okay, so that allows him to go there. Now I'm going to do Yumble Strip and counting. Oh, shoot. Haha. <laughs> Eleven on that side. So basically what I need to do is uh, that one. Okay. So what we do now So if I was to bring him down here and bring him up there. Whoops. Haven't done that. Yeah, that would work. So that's bring the trolley buses up. So we're using trolley buses in places of trams, although trams might still be used later on in the game. Okay, so... Okay, so bring him down. Bring him down. Now, the good thing is they sit on the outside, so that works fine. Now we'll go to the two-laner. Oh, four liner, sorry. As you know, let's get the small heavy road in place first. Because that allows me to do this, 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 and this. Let me get the plaza connected up. Perfect. So that's looking good. Bring them up. Don't worry, there's, there'll be also Metro as well. So I will put these back on. There we go. Yep, that's working fine. And I'll bring that busway across um, yeah, I don't want them anywhere near the freight system. So that would be a case of coming down this side. Wrong. What? I was going to say. So bring him down here. Yeah, because I don't want them anywhere near the freight system that's in this area. I should, in all honesty, have that as a roundabout. Okay, so that's there, there, there. So you've got a trolley bus system, which are <laughs> they're not worth anything more than tourist attractions, but you can make them work. They... Let's get this sorted out. So that's going to feed back on itself. So that becomes a bridge.
And I think that's going to have to be... Yep, I'll deal with that in a minute. So... Okay, let's just alter this quickly, because this is... Ew. Far out, it's really liking that one today. way let's take a save Right, time for an ad break while I go and grab myself coffee.
All right, back to this. Okay. Back to here. Okay, so that's the bus. No, pardon me. Yeah, I'm gonna change these out. These are not gonna work. Uh, no, not those ones. Oh, that should be, um... Yeah, see, that changes automatically into... back to uh, no don't run bus lanes up um, that close to your intersections like that because you have turning problems and then you start getting stack uh, what's called stacking problems on the way out uh, that's interesting because Okay, so I'll let me... That's real interesting, it's not allowing me to do that anymore, it's gone back to... Okay, anyway, anyway, back to this. This becomes interesting. Uh, no, it doesn't. So drop down to four, two, and then change that around. Okay, so what we do is do that. So, what have we got over there? Oh, yeah. So the problem with trolley buses they run well a bit obvious on why they run to the outside but still that doesn't make it any easier I will terraform that up in a minute yeah where was I Okay, so, oh shoot, yeah, you can't, I forgot there's another connection right there I need to do, ha ha, um, no, that's a straight out, oops, yeah, that's fine, so, um, Yeah, it's okay. I'm not necessarily going to run about that one off. That just becomes a straight out. Uh, that can't be risen, so no point doing those. So that technically just becomes an ordinary... 
Can these be risen? Yeah, they can, so it's fine, I didn't. Probably didn't kill off, is it? Yeah, so that's fine. Okay, so that's coming along. Right. Cargo. Because we're distributing cargo in all directions. And that's actually going to become a three, uh, possibly a three laner too. <laughs> oh. No, I just thought of that. So that... Bingo. So that will have to still be a... Bit of a suck, a bit of a... Bit of an annoyance, but... Not as bad as people think it would be. No, don't do that. Ah. Couldn't he? Could have that under lights control. Yup, the BBC outro again. Do, 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 do. Just pondering, and welcome for those who have just joined us. Welcome to City Skylines. I am Palpatine001, otherwise known as the Senate, and we are building on Boulder Cove. So this is the Boulder Cove map from the Steam Whips. <laughs> That's a dip. Steam Workshop, and we're busy doing our infrastructure at the moment. As we map out the city centre area and the supporting um, urban development around that, and then we'll move out to the other islands and the mainland. This game is modded, and we do left-hand traffic, just to confuse everyone that's not in the UK, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, and Japan. Because we can. Okay, so, let's go up. Nice to know the home key does that. Okay, so... No, 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 no. So we go backwards. Oh, heck. It's not going to let me do it because of railway tracks. Oh, yeah, well, actually. So we just need to... Oh, don't worry, I'm going to be getting rid of that particular... Okay, so turn that around. That's a real cute game. So, is it going to let me try that now? No, because there's a... Okay, so... See, this is the problem. I've got to... Yeah. Okay. Is it going to let me turn it around? Fine. When it doesn't do it, you do it for it. Tools are there anyway. It's like, oh, what? Okay, so I just need to do this quickly. Actually, that's uh. Oh no, I think I can get the trees underneath that. Yep. So 
I do want to keep that independent of do that so down we come Whee! <laughs> oh, poor Sodders having to negotiate that one game are you trying to dip or what Okay, so go scroll down six meters and don't tell me it's the wrong way I know okay because we're gonna have to probably upgrade these as well so that's allowed that connection so we'll do the other connect Thank you, game. Let's move along. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. Thank you. Okay, so let's do the next set. So I will work out this in a minute that I am conscientious conscientious of as well because that's all guts and glory through there but Ah, uh, yep. No, no. Oh, I could actually. If that really does get bad. So they're all passing through there, which makes it a very interesting challenge. So, anyway, let's. Do. do. 10 bridge it's much easier doing it this way there it goes I'll fix those up in a minute. I can actually... Uh, what are they? Avenue lights? Yeah, so I can prop an anarchy that out. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Well, this one's going to be easier to do than the other. I've actually now got the cargo terminal facing the wrong way around. Is that a two or a three lane? A two. So. Yep. So what I need to do. That shouldn't trigger off the alarm because the terminal's there. I don't think that's perfectly aligned either. Haha, <laughs> well, it's not. Mm -hmm. So go this way. Oh, okay, you're going to want to do this. Okay. What are we doing? Are we. Wanting to have a bit of a jank. It's fine. It's probably because. Okay. 
not too fu fussed about. To be honest, the amount of traffic that's going to come barreling down there is going to be quite phenomenal. So, I'm setting myself up for an automatic. Quite a hard derp if I'm not careful with that. Yeah, 2-2-2-2. Two, 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 two. That sorts the cargo out. So the cargo goes out of... Technically, the cargo is actually going to loop back on itself. There is a way to fix it, but I'm just very cautious in doing it because of the sheer fact that I'm going to have conflicting traffic. That said, it's... Technically works and it technically doesn't. And make that a three, because that should disperse. Where is it? It's a bus lane for a good reason. <coughs> we'll see how it goes. This is dealing with freight traffic. It could be a case of... If I need to, I can bring another one over. Use this road as well and bring another one over. We'll see how it goes, but it's... It's there anyway, so what I will do... Is actually set it up. No, I don't because I know what the traffic does. Okay, so let's set the cargo up finally. Now to stop them going for a walk. No, I'll use paths for that. I'm not going to. I guess so. Actually, to be honest... And then set that up... As a... Yeah, well, actually, because otherwise you're going to have traffic going around and around and around and around and around and around and around, and it'll just drive you nuts. So set that up for... Set that up for that. I am actually going to set this up now, because if I don't do it now, I'm going to absolutely go bonkers later on going, why didn't I do it? So back to the one ways. Up we go. Ten. It's a bridge. Let's make sure it goes back the other way. Okay, let's turn that around. Ha ha ha. Silly game. Down we go. Have fun with that, team. So we'll hold that at six. Because I can um, terraform that. So that's given that alternative available as well. So, you're the so is that under lights control? No, and I should be doing that as a... Um, probably as a three-laner all the way down to be... Did that not do it? I was going to say. 
So that gives 2-2. Two, two. So 2 and 2, 2 and 2, yep. And we will bring this under lights control. It's going to be a rare one for me to do. But otherwise it's just going to annoy that. It's also the fact we've got pedestrians in the area. Okay, so that's the interest city. Now we're going to start backfilling and start doing the... We've got the basic grid pattern in the city centre laid out. So we build nothing on these big six laners. Apart from maybe civic infrastructure like hospitals, um, fire stations in place because I'll need it for rapid access. I'll come back to that later. Okay, so now we've got the main the main bones are in for this side. So now what we'll do is we'll start doing the um, smaller streets for this, and then we'll come back over to the other side. So we'll do this and this. Um, there's no industrial demand, so got to be careful with that too, cause, so I don't back it up. So we we'll, might do industry as well. So now what we're going to do is start filling these back in. Now this can be one big as Cycle Boulevard. Did that just drop? Oh heck. That is not what I wanted. So... Is that because that's sunk? Oh, because it's completely sunk in the... Raise that up a bit. We're going to take a save. Just noticed that side, so we're going to raise it up too. I might put the keys in as well. Do it now because then that can help me determine. That's a beautiful man. I'll tell you what, it's going to be absolutely prone if I ever drop the tsunami in there. Oh, that's right on. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Let this form a natural, a natural seawall. You know, climate change and all. Because there's plenty of a beach property. Plenty of a beach property floating around. So what we will do is we might key this out now. Then I'm going to take a small break again. So I want this, I want this. Doesn't matter if the shore juts out too much. So, so we do this. There we go. And I should be able to use move it mod to shunt it into there. Yay. So that is that done. I'll finish that rest of that key off later. So as I said, we've now finished doing the major spinal stuff, the major arterial stuff now. Although that said, the metro, which is underground and above ground, hasn't been set yet. But I don't know. Can't do it yet because I don't know which way the urban form is going to take. We've got the freight down. We've got the rail down. So yeah, we're just starting to do. And we've got key points like transport hubs, freight hubs, uh, the city hall. Yeah, that is a city hall. Freight hubs again. Water, well that's sewerage. Uh, the cargo. Power plant. Yeah, so we're just now doing this. Ah. Uh. 
Okay. So we want it connected to that one actually. So that's the cycle way. They'll form up because that becomes what's known as the Tribune. Now we can... Oh, Crap. Oh, I was going to say, Prop Anarchy better be off. Ooh, nuts. Oh, that's okay. Nothing major. So let me just take a slow. So I must use this more. I, in the first time I got it, I used it in one of my other cities. Every second road was the Cycle Boulevard, and put it this way, it worked beautifully. And then I forgot about it for ages, and it's like... So yeah, we're now doing the backfilling. I'll do the Tribune area later, so that's there, that's there. That would be a nice one to run. Is that on the... Is that on the 90? It is too. I don't think it's parallel. No, it's... It looks like it's... It just off. So that's another one you do it. Could technically run... Another one there, but given what's there, that will be tempted just to run as a straight path because I've got these available as well. Ooh. Let's go. Which I love using. I've got these these bad boys. So So they will run down Like that, so they'll run parallel down. When you've got cases like this, um, oh no, they wouldn't. No, so they don't run down like that, but they do run down like this. One, beautiful paths, and they're fully, and the tunnels are fully rendered on it too, which makes it even more beautiful. Now the good news is, is this can be set up for trams later on, so there's a lot of future proofing involved. G'day. G'day Daddy. How are you? Good. Good, good? Yeah. Right, we are going to... Run another ad break because I'm gonna go and get some food and make a restroom stop and then we'll be right back and continue the last half hour or so.
Right, we're back. Okay, so let's push through. So Yeah, so we've got those available as well. Now I totally used a mod, and I'll have to if she's online today or whenever she's online, I'll have to see what that mod was that allows us to build um pathways over these very quickly. Because at the moment I have to do it manually and it's very slow and tedium. So if she could do if it could be done automatically, um that will be great. So now we're back to this. So now yeah, we're now backfilling. Doing the roads and that. And what I say to new... Well, I say it to veterans as well. Take your time. Don't rush this. If it takes you two weeks to do it before you put your first zone down, then it takes two weeks to do it before you put your first zone down. If it takes two weeks of stream time to do it, which it does on average for me, then it takes two weeks. Never rush this part. Because if you do... What you get is an absolute mess, like you do in real life cities, and it becomes very expensive to retrofit. And as a planner and spatial planner in real life, as a profession, I can tell you that as my professional word. So take it, so just take it easy. You've got all the time in the world, and at the same time, um, other players can give you tips, or you've just given tips to other players on what to do and what not to do. So yeah, TLDR, take your time with this. Don't rush it. There's no rush. This is not uh, Cities on a Snap. This is normal City Skylines playing. And if you've got budget on, which I don't, um, especially take your time. Because if you do a mistake, it's going to be a costly one that can break the city. And yeah, that's the case, and it becomes a case of dull. And a big one at that. So again, take your time. Okay, I think what we'll do for this is uh, what's that? Set six. Yeah, I'll run a. Um, I don't want that too close to the intersection because it's going to be a very heavy, uh, very heavy intersection. We can do. It. Does that allow you to get close, but not that close? So that becomes pathways linked over. Yes. Yeah, so. Uh, now I can connect him there. So what we will do is I might connect him back. Okay, is that having a jank for the sake of a jank? Looks like it is. Okay, so what we'll do is extend him out. Yeah. And connect that back to there. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll use paved roads and I, <laughs> no crap Sherlock. That's a real case of no crap Sherlock. So we'll be using these ones quite a lot too. Okay, so that's that down. So what I've got to do when I, I've got to make sure I use my TMP to make sure I disable the cars out of that. Because like the speed limit's only set to 10 kilometers an hour. And it's, you know, it's like... Ooh. Also, it's it might seem counterintuitive, but it's not at the same time. Do actually have lots of connection, uh, except for your big six laners, so road hierarchies in play. Do have lots of connections because your fire trucks are going to need it, lest you want to do a, an imperial jet and burn your entire city to the floor. So, um, yeah. See, I need to do more connections 
across. And for that is, and that's going to be road connections. Otherwise, the firefighters are going to have one hell of a time trying to fix that up. Oh, Metro. Me Metro, can't be. Hey, Papa Norris, how are you? I hope all is well this beautiful Friday. It is absolutely gorgeous. What is the time? 11.17 a.m. And we're coming up to the two-hour mark. So we're on Boulder Cove tonight, and I'm now doing the... So, road hierarchy. Highway, six lane, four lane, two lane, streets. So you use your hierarchy to control your traffic. It's a real thing in real planning transport engineering. Uh, it's also just as, as important in city skylines. So we've got the big highway, and we have a big six laner, which is the arterial. Now, nothing will ever be built on it. You don't build on your six lane arterials. If there is something that goes there, it will usually be the firefighters, the police, and the hospitals. That's so they can have rapid access and deployment. But you do not, uh, and officers, because of the way officers work. But you don't build freight, or you don't build industry, freight trucks clog it up. You don't build residential, noise. You don't build commercial, freight trucks, shops, pedestrians. And it's also an extremely unpleasant experience to walk around in. So once you've done your six laners you then you drop to your four laners they act as the intermediaries and they span out and take the feeders which you can start to see are being uh being run and with your four laners you often find your transit system in that area as well so your commercial can sit in there your industry theoretically can sit in there and some of your higher density residential can sit in there and your civic infrastructure will sits on that then you run down your two laners, which become your streets. And that's where your bulk of your residential and commercial go. Because you can then use TMPE to block out the cars. So use your street hierarchy system. Which is what I'm doing now. So I'm, what I'm doing is now mapping out uh everything in this and so you'll see lots of cycle boulevards lots of main roads um lots of pedestrian malls and that and also i've got the transit hubs there so i've also got to work out um my pedestrian access ways too so there's three transit hubs technically that's two but it's rolled into one at the moment so yeah use your street hierarchy now your nodes technically um technically it doesn't need to be cycleways for this one this one you now drop down to uh no it might be otherwise i think you're zoning let me just check the zoning on this um if i use the correct one now let me just run that back as a tiny road oh, it's not really gonna matter i don't have zone anarchy on Yes, yeah, so in this case, don't need the big cycle boulevards. They're not primary feeders. So the cycle boulevard is unique in that it can be up there with your six lane roads and moving a lot around, or it could be dropped as a feeder. So, again, oh, that was dip. So in this case, I am using my nodes to work this no don't you i'm using my nodes to work this out now cyclists use that too so i don't need to panic and then i can drop a the other way to run that one if i'm so inclined in fact i could be inclined actually in fact i am going to be inclined so is use these
So that is a case of a pedestrian wall. So that's... So we've got those available as well. So you've got that one that way. This one's got a road to it. So you run him back that way. So that's that way. So that goes up. And that one would technically run because you're wanting uh you're wanting exit points and entry so yeah you're wanting exit points technically actually that wouldn't even be that that would be that so you're dispersing your traffic Oh, so, uh, Adrian, uh, all this while the city center's coming on. So we've got the arterials in. So we've got the big six laners in. The, most of the four laners are down. We've got the freight and intercity rail in. And now we're doing our streets. Ooh. Mm -mm. No, let me go and get one. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So the city center, yeah. So we're now doing our streets. So we've dropped right down to... Yeah, that's actually no good so we're now doing yeah so there um in planning spatial planning transport engineering there is a difference between a road and a street they both have very different um thank you mm -hmm. they both have different meanings they have different hierarchies yeah just a bit of a Mm -hmm. Thus, they have different uses. And what happens with engineering is they muddle the two together and it creates uh, very interesting problems. So I don't really want them backing on to... Did that not do... Ah, oh, crap. Crap. Excuse the language for a second. It didn't do what I wanted earlier. So, uh, what is that? A two lane? Uh, I need to go to the shops. I'm taking some. Okay, sweet as. Daughter wants to stay. Oh, of course she does. It's. Mm -hmm. oh, Got to do this. <laughs> so you're likely to, I'll do the path up the other side. Yeah, so the city sends coming out. So a road Ah I don't like when it does that. So what I'll do is get the terror. I'll tell you what the difference between a road and a street is and why it's absolutely critical. Because you're gonna see it play out here. And a lot of people get this wrong and it creates Uh, creates problems down the line okay so a road is this is a road this is a road this is in between so it causes a problem that is a straight that is a straight that is a road this is a road this is a straight this is a road. There's a big honking road. That is a road. More to the point, it's a motorway. Because, a motorway so you've got another hierarchy in there because it's limited access. This is a street. And that creates a bit of a muddle as well. This is a street. Okay. So a road is designed to move people and goods as efficiently as possible depending on the mode, from A to B to C. That is a road. 
a street is designed to be in the simplest terms be a living space a public space or an extension to the living room whether it's residential or commercial or even office so it's a public space and the purpose of the street is t is twofold it is to move people as people that are not using motorized forms of transport including an e-scooter around between a short distance as efficiently as possible they are also social interaction space so open social interaction spaces <clears throat> i'll get that english round properly so with a street you should not be seeing cars you should technically not be seeing transit i a bus you might see light rail if light rail comes through the area and freight should be restricted say between 6 a.m and 11 a.m monday to saturday you shouldn't see it any other time So that's the difference between now you do get cases we have shared spaces where cars um traffic and that do mix but it's for unique situations technically it should be avoid technically i shouldn't be using that as a um if i'm actually behaving if i'm actually following my own sobbing guidelines and high volume invite so shared spaces work in low volume environments they do not work in high volume environments otherwise you've got cars and that mixing so i should be following my own hierarchy yeah so that's the difference between a road so what we're doing today is we're building streets because the roads are all down oh you might still catch the odd road but today we're building the streets and this is how the fabric gets the urban fabric gets stitched up And if you think it's the case of slap some ro slap some streets down in the way you go, I can tell you it's not. Laying arterials down is easy. Laying streets down is another game altogether. Because you get it wrong, your hi not only is your hierarchy going to be out of whack, but you're not going to have the most pleasant of people spaces. And if the people place isn't pleasant, then your retail and hospitality are going to suffer uh, immensely. And I will tell you, they will suffer immensely. So if I'm doing the... Fun fact. Here's today's... <clears throat> Take a car. Ironically, that's also going to be this way because there's a subway station right there. So here's today's fun fact. Take a car out of the main street and make it pedestrian only and maybe mix it with some transit. And your retail ta and hospitality takings increase by 40%. I kid you not. Oh, sorry. That should be... Um... um No, this is might find that in the upper and pedestrian malls anyway. Yeah, so. Take your car, take the car out of the main street and make it pedestrian transit only. Retail and hospitality takings increase 40% straight off the bat. You've turned a road into a street. 
So it's become the extension of a living room. It's a people's space now. It's not a thoroughfare for rat runners. And believe me, the amount of times we've tried to tell business associations and that to do it, you're banging your head against the wall and they're wondering why all their businesses are going broke. It's like, we're not... Pardon, the, well, I haven't got family friendly on, so it's okay. We're not bullshitting out of our ass. But it's actually based on very sound... Um, ev international evidence. If we wanted the... Um, so-called bullshit out of our ass, I can think of other ways of doing it. And that's not one of them. Ah. Ye oh, that's how you fix that one. Perfect, just found how to fix that one up. So that will consequently become a three laner. Okay, let me just fix this up now. Ah, oh, fine, whatever. Okay, so that's that done. Yep. Okay. So I've got a metro line to do. I'll be doing backfilling more of these later once um, the zones start going in place. <clears throat> okay, so we've got a metro line. And I'm probably going to follow that run with a pedestrian path. What is the time? Oh, we might push on a little bit longer. Let me get this metro set up. Well, extended. Okay, where's that going? That's going all the way over there, and she's going to need to drop underground. Because otherwise it's going to run into... Messes with the roads. So, down four. Down eight. Down twelve, and then I'll leave it there. Um... And then what we will do is do the terrain again. And then we can come back across that later. I hate when that happens. It's like... Okay. Just give me a minute. I just need to... Metro is not exactly optimized for this. Okay, so that allows me to bring up a dist uh, By the way, those... Um, let me take a save. Hey! Oh, it's going to be a train wreck when we live. Oh, oh yeah, because it's Friday rush hour 2, I believe. Just to make it fun. Now, because I use the Metro Overhaul mod, the subway tunnels are fully rendered as well. Oh, BBC Outro. And with that... We will be concluding the stream for today because it's coming up to midday my side it's a beautiful day outside and i really need to get the vegetable garden done before the weekend i also need to follow up on some other matters before we have elections tomorrow yay it's e-day for new zealand tomorrow fun 
So in the meantime, I will pass you off to a trusted streamer, and they're all online at the moment, so that's good. Once the game stops having to do it. So Sunday, we'll continue finishing off the infrastructure for the city center, and we should get the first loaded zones out. What I might do is tonight, off stream, is finish off the other side of the big six lane arterial that's at the top of the picture. So we've got the supporting residential in place. And that way, by the time we hit Sunday, it's just the finish it putting down the transit lines and the parks, and then able to let the simulator rip, which is always the best part. In the meantime, who have we got on lot? Line, just one moment. You too. Jim. You too. Right, just one moment. Oh, that's some serious lag. Just one moment. All right, we're going to pop over to uh, JJ Jim, who's doing Age of Empires.